Because the hardest thing about starting your business is starting your business. People get cold feet, okay? Once you get rid of your cold feet, do your first week and uh, everything will come to you. So I have a few questions for you. Uh, we've gotten this question this question a couple of times. How much did you pay for your trailer? I believe it was 11 5, 11 7. Okay, 11 5. And how much did you pay for your truck? What a good deal. The guy posted it for 42,000 and again it for 36. It was 1 year old with a lot of miles. Yes, it had 90,000 miles on it when he bought it. Yeah. And the person was using it to calls from Northern California to, uh, down to LA. Yes. Okay. How about the truck? I had a gooseneck setup. That's not my preference, but uh, I took that off and put a fifth wheel. The reason why it has these heavy duty chains that he still uses, but he changed, he put in a kingpin and he upgraded the fifth wheel. Not this fifth wheel, he had a Reese. So he paid about $1,000 for the fifth wheel. How much did you pay for that kingpin? And three seventy-five for the kingpin. It didn't come with these storage cabinets. He paid one fifty for both. Then he purchased wheel covers from the truck store in Sacramento. A one fifty. I don't buy nothing new. If I could find it used, I like the new ones. Yeah, the design. And this one came off of uh, the same truck, a Dodge fifty five hundred. And I didn't have to fabricate nothing. The the brackets was already for the Dodge fifty five hundred. Mm. Look at this. And yes it's like it's already they made it for the that dodge now this truck already came with a fuel tank it didn't come with this cover here he, during that time he was doing all of his upgrades like i said the cabinets there the wheel covers this plate in the back he also fabricated the plate in the in the very rear of the truck so how did you get the money to purchase all these things a lot of selling and what did you sell sacrifice I sold a lot of stuff I wasn't using. Like? Like the boat. I had a ski boat, 92 ski, ski leash I am. Paid 11,000, I sold it for eight. I had it for almost 20 years since my kids were little. And that was the family boat. Got rid of that. Uh, 2014 Rubicon, got rid of that one. I. I got a 48 foot container in my backyard. I'm like, ah, let's see what I can get rid of. A 1974 260Z. I put it out there for 10,000, and uh, I, I know I could have got 10,000. I ended up getting 5,000 for it sold to quite a few things now but you still have your mustang right oh man that, that is not going nowhere gone in 60 seconds 67 mustang i uh it looks like that uh eleanor the gone in 60 second movie it's a coupe 1967 coupe but it's the same color beautiful car it's one item that he's not gonna sell like. yeah, yeah 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 it's like my wife i'm keeping my wife uh -huh. <laughs> now first year how much did you pay I got a really good deal before I got into this car hauling business I got a quote for me like five thousand or six thousand a year so start selling my equipment well all the stuff that I need to start my business and it almost took me what eight months to come up with the money yeah and then also all the permits and everything so yeah so from the time that I decided I, I want to be a car hauler and the time I got the second quote for my insurance, what was that, about a year and a half later? No, about a year. You, you guys are not gonna like this. It went from 5,000, 17,000, 21,000, all the way to the highest was 30,000 a year. I'm like, whoa. The insurance, he ended up getting insurance. It was the cheapest one, and it was $4,300 down. And then he ended up paying $1,360 a month. And that was the cheapest policy. And after everything for the year, it was almost $20,000.
now, after the first year, he's only paying $5,500 a year. Here, the insurance is going to be expensive because you have a new authority, a new DOT number, new everything. You have no accidents and everything goes well that first year. Your second year, you should see a, a, a large decrease. If you want to be a car hauler or a two car hauler, a three or four, get your quote before you buy your equipment, your truck and trailer. Because you don't want no surprises. You don't want to spend a lot of money on your truck and trailer and then you got a, a high quote which you're not going to be able to afford the first year. But you have to do your uh, your time the first year. Once you do your time, it's like all, it's all downhill. Questions? So please drop it below. The very first thing that you do when you're starting out is you figure out your name. The reason I went with the LLC is because a lot of the brokers require nowadays you got to be LLC. You can't just be uh, like back 20 years ago, just get a CA number and, and start rolling with the big dogs. No, they want you to have LLC, LLC or incorporated. His the name to see if there was anybody with that name. And then I went on the California LLC website and I searched as well. Then you apply for the name and I believe it was $20 for them to save the name. That's when you apply for your DOT number. Takes a few minutes, you do that online. Then from there, you apply for your MC number. It's not the same MC number that you do like long haul. You know who to contact and things like that. Once you have EIN number, and that's for businesses, you have to get that. And then, and then you have to get your employer pool number. That's with the DMV where they pull your your DMV record. Every you also have to get your insurance. And then once you have all those things, you apply for your authority, your CA number. And your insurance is active. So usually it takes about two to three weeks for your CA number to be active once your insurance is active. So you are wasting a little bit of time, but... No, no, you're not wasting a little bit of time. You're wasting money. Well, yeah. You're wasting <laughs> almost a whole month out of your pocket to active. For people that's taking them like four to five weeks is because depending what, what where you live at, what state or... You know, the DMV might be so, backed up. So, what he did, and the, the, author, the CA numbers in California or the authority cost $250 annually. So, what he did is his insurance sent it to, to the DMV in Sacramento, but it was taking, it was about two weeks out. Made a copy of the application, got the proof of insurance from the insurer, and we took it down to the DMV and we put it in their drop box. About a week later, uh, already was active. He got his DOT right away, along with his LLC, but then everything else took a while. When you get a quote, and you've been driving for a long time with your CDL, they don't look at that. They look at you like you're fresh out of uh, school. Yes. You know experience. Because it's all about that DOT number and your authority, how old that is. It's a brand new authority number, and that's what to look at. And a lot of people say, "Well, I've been driving for so many, so much, so many years, and you know, I have a clean record." It doesn't matter. They look at the, your brand new numbers they give you. Yes. And the LLC, which is separate, uh, registration for the truck, fourteen or fifteen hundred insurance. The uh, CA number, the authority is two fifty. And then all the maintenance that you do to your truck and trailer, the, the new tires, new brakes, new, uh, your, every three months you got to change the oil. All that stuff adds up. Well, fortunately for you, you it do it yourself. It's, yeah. Throw any money away. I don't, I'm not, I don't have money like that. Just, but you, if you don't know, you learn, you YouTube it. How to change this or change that. Or, you're not just a car hauler. You, you're gonna be a. You gotta be mechanical inclined to work on your equipment, your truck and trailer. If you have any questions, please drop them below or any comments. And yeah, that's right. Peace. We'll see you guys in the next video. And please subscribe to our channel. Help us build up this channel. We want to get at least 10,000 subscribers. We're like pretty close to three. So something, something. I mean, I remember when we started with nine. Nine subscribers. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, we're, we're kind of building this up. I mean, it started as a hobby. Now it's like... Well, it still is a hobby. I enjoy filming. And if we can help some people out along the way, then that's nice. Thank you for everyone that's watching. Yeah, thank you, There's... New York, Florida. Uh, was that Tennessee? Yeah, there's Tennessee. Tennessee.
Tennessee? They're basically all over yeah. the United States, and thank you. And, the, you know, they come to California, they're car hauling over here, so if you're like, if you park next to somebody and you look at the license plate from Illinois, it's like, wow, what's he doing over here? Well, they're long, oh, huh? <laughs> yeah, it, it all depends on your broker. Your broker sent you to California. Yeah. So, no, I'm a, I'm a local driver, but, you know, I see a lot of young kids are uh, learning and watching this channel and, uh, you know, hope you guys are doing okay out there, guys. So, uh, give us Be a safe. like and subscribe. Peace.